Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and uh, select all so that I'm going to drop a new banger, a new exclusivity will definitely be notified. Well, we all know that the news is finally out. It's been confirmed that by the IBF um at Manti Bakole versus Ajagba would be for the little of that strap you know or the Daniel Dubois uh title bout so whoever wins would have to fight Daniel Dubois next so it's funny how things worked out though um because this fight was ordered um was i don't know if there would have been an opportunity for both of these guys to even meet each other a job um, was on a different trajectory um he was like basically seen as the future and then the lack of fights um when he was with pbc happened and he moved to top rank same thing is also happening right now if i'm not mistaken I was one of those guys that urged Ajabwa to move from, you know, uh, PBC to move from PBC and stuff like that, which I think was the right choice at that point. But then, top rank is not getting fights. Um, the way he should be getting could be injury, could be just him, um, yeah, basically recovering or something. But I know Ajagba is, uh, I still see him as a few, the future, in my opinion. I think um, we are yet to see the best of Ajagba. Um, he still got it there. Um, it just depends on if he can get this job done. Because Marty Bakuli is not an easy work for anybody. Bakuli has this this uh boogeyman uh tag on him right now like the great john jilly on a fight against bakali the great ajit kabayer don't, <laughs> don't they want any part they all turned down a fight against mat bakali ajagba has however accepted the bout owens goes to the bois that's why I say Dubois will not be a world champion for long. Because the killers coming through are just killers that can beat him. In my opinion, Ajagba beats Dubois. Ajagba beats Dubois. And it will make him quit as well. You know, Matt Pakoli on the other hand, we know he beats Dubois as well. Easily. Like that guy has been, he's been calling for Dubois. He's been, even his trainer said, listen, he will bet his house, everything on Bakole to beat Dubois because he's that sure. I think because both of them have sparred a lot of times and rumors has it that uh, Dubois has quit a lot in sparring against uh, against Bakole. So he's actually the the boogeyman but the boogeyman is meeting the one and only the silent roller Ajabwa. Who win? We'll see. Let's analyze this fight right here. We have our brother uh, Jack B and Adewale in the house. Adewale, this fight right here, where should it take place? Should it be, should it, do you think they should do a real season Africa? I mean, Turkey Lashik wants to do it, but do you think he's, he's ripe enough to do that? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I think that would be a great fight in Africa because both guys are from Africa and Jack Ba from Nigeria and Bakole from Congo. That would be an absolutely great fight in Africa. As far as the location, um, they probably would have to have that fight outside of Nigeria and Congo, in my opinion. Maybe in a smaller place like Ghana, in my opinion. I'm just, that's just my own opinion, personally. But it would be a great fight if it would take place in Africa. So, in in terms of the bout, you know, like the matchup, uh, analyze the matchup, the style. How do you see this fight uh, playing out? Like, 
if you look at both styles like just envision it for me i'm so excited about this fight and part of the reason is, is that the heavyweight division is not really moving you know we have the rematch between fury and Usyk coming up and we had the dubois aj fight recently so those were the two major fights that we've had. And I consider this one between Atagba and Bakole as a major fight. It's not going to be as big as the other two, but it's a major fight. And it brings a lot of excitement back into the heavyweight division. Both guys are power punchers. Both guys are like the same height, six foot six, tall, powerful. Bakole has a little bit of a faster hand speed than a jaguar a jaguar is a little bit slow on his, with his punches but he can land those punches as well so it's going to be a dangerous fight for both guys and it's not going to go the distance this fight is more than likely not going to go the distance if you're a betting man just put your money on the fight not going the distance now who is going to come victorious i would slightly favor bakoli slightly just based on this form, Bakole is coming off a great win against Jared Anderson. Um, Ajagba had a victory over, I can't even remember Ajagba's last fight. That's the funny thing. If you can help me with that, I, I don't remember the last guy he beats. But Ajagba too hasn't been doing too bad. Their styles, both power punchers, it brings an exciting fight. Someone is going to get knocked out. Who's going to get knocked out? I don't know. I slightly favor Bakole, but at the same time, Bakole can sleep on a Jaguar. Yeah, but Bill Nelson, uh, Bakole's trainer, he's confident that this would be an easy fight. Um, you know, that he's saying, listen, Bakole will be a world champion in 2025. How do you see that play now? Do you think he's right? Um, this fight man this fight is such a an important fight for both guys because the winner gets to fight the winner of dubois and joseph parker so they both have to put in their best efforts like i said i slightly not in fact i'm just going to say it's 55 percent in if i'm going to predict i would say it's 55 45 in favor of bacoli but at the same time, Ajagba has what it takes to get that win. So I wouldn't be too confident if I'm Billy Nelson, the trainer of Martin Bacoli. I'll, I'll take this training camp very, very seriously. Because one slip up, you're going to get punched on your chin and you're going to sleep, period. We've seen Bacoli get hit in his career many times. But I'll be honest, we've seen Ajagba get hit multiple times as well. And I'm just thinking about the hand speed. Man, Bakole has a deceptively fast way of landing his punches. The guy is a good fighter, man. Uh, man, do I see him becoming a world champion in 2025? 50-50, you know? Because you never know, man. Daniel Dubois, you know, you said something earlier. You said Bakole will have an easy victory over Dubois because of his firing stories. I disagree. I actually disagree because Dubois is not a joke, man. Dubois has been boxing since he was seven years old and he knows how to box. He has good experience. He's fought good guys in his career. He's actually fought better competition than Ajagba and Bakole. So that's not going to be an easy touch for either Ajagba or Bakole, regardless who comes, comes out victorious in that fight. If they fight against Daniel Dubois next, because I believe Dubois beats Parker, it's going to be a difficult fight. We never know, man. Heavyweight division is open. 2025 is going to be an open year in the heavyweight division. So I'm just excited right now. I'm just excited about the matchup. Thanks, bro. I appreciate your take on this. Now let's go around here, Ty Ajagbe. Ajagbe, um, what do you make of this fight? Man, <laughs> let me see, bro. Okay, so I, I've 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 analyzed this fight. I'm like, you know, Martin, from what I saw from Martin Bocoli against Jared Anderson, 
it's like uh, we haven't seen Martin Coley put through the ringer other than the last fight that he had with Michael Hunter, you know, which uh, I don't know how how true this, how true it is that Michael Hunter, you know, that Martin Coley broke his hand, and that's why he that's why he looked like the way he did against Michael Hunter. But what but what bothers me is that you know he beat an, an experienced Jared Anderson. Who they we 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 all can't deny it, right? We all we all know Jared Anderson at the time, or probably did not have it, just based off what he's been saying since the beginning of his career. Listen, man, the guy was already he by the time he started, he was already retired. He was already contemplating retirement. So all I can say is boxing was not for him. His head was a hundred percent not in the game. It was more of a flashy show, right? Because for somebody of his skills to to say, "Oh, I want to talk about retirement already," bro, listen, it's over before he even began. All he needed was somebody of uh, of Mumbacoli's stature to come in, come in there and just completely dominate and overshadow you and show you what boxing and what it's all about. And eventually, you will crumble. And that's what that's exactly what. Um, Jared Anderson did. He crumbled under the feet of Martin Bacoli. Because let's be honest, man, that guy was not in, not even ready, not even ready. You know, crying, oh, crying with uh, uh, this guy when he was being interviewed. Bro, you hadn't even touched the fruit of the of your labors yet, and he started crying. He's not ready. So it it makes me feel like, you know, we don't want to say Martin Bacoli, you know, is is. Is the boogeyman of the vision, just like we thought Emmanuel Char was. We 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 don't know where they all stand when it comes to these fights. It's all about mixing them up and putting them in there right away, not taking years, not taking months. You know, uh, it's 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 the same thing. Just much like when I thought the du- Dubois quit against Usyk, Joe Joyce. You know, I didn't think he was going to be able to do that against Anthony Joshua. But, you know, he did exactly that because you never know with these guys, man. You just never know where their head is at during during the time from from the beginning of the, uh, from the beginning when they announced the fight to, to the time they step in the ring. You just don't know where their head's at. You know, one could be good and one can't be one, – one, one is not. You know, for all we know, everybody's shooting for Martin Bacoli. But then F.A. Jabba comes in there and just just completely does something different com- from what everybody's thinking. And all of a sudden, everybody's saying, oh, my, what's going on? What happened to Amon Bacoli? You know, so, you know, I, I, that stands. I do. I, I feel like that's where we're at when it comes to this fight. I think um, Jared Anderson was in, too inexperienced. You know, I think. F.A. Jabba fighting Martin Bacoli would do a much better job, you know, and it'll take a lot to 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 really put down F.A. Jabba. And I'm praying that, you know, I'm I'm hoping that's the situation that we have a good fight. But if I see if 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 I see nonsense, I'm gonna call it out just prior to the fight, beginning of the fight, you know, because you never know with these guys. You yeah, they they give hints and you should you 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 ignore it, but you would know if their head is not in the game, right? You know, and, and on top of that, I'm not a big fan of Martin Bocody. To me, he's too cocky, and I can't stand that. Him and his trainer, Bill Nelson, and he knows that I can't stand that. But f- let's see where this fight goes. I think it, uh, uh, FA job is going to do a much better job than um, uh, Jared Anderson did, and I think Martin Bocody is going to have a is going to have a tough time getting FA job out. He might think he going he's gonna go in there steamroll him, but I think Everett Jabba has that knockout power too. So it could change the outcome of the fight. You know, I would like to see. I would like to see Everett Jabba put up his guard more. You know, because let's be honest, Mumba Coley does his punch. His punching combination is up there, and I even I'm just like surprised that his punching combination is up there. And, I'm a little bit like, man, maybe they hope they this guy's not on steroids because it doesn't make sense, you know. And hopefully, FA Job put his guards up and he'll 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 know what to do. Hey, Martin Bacoli doesn't move doesn't move his feet, but them combinations are extremely deadly, you know. 
So I don't think Efe Ajaba is going to have a hard time landing. It's just that if Efe Ajaba just keeps his head in the middle and doesn't move his head or decides to trade with Martin Bacoli, you know. Bro, that's gonna I, be- I don't know why you underestimate Ajaba, bro. Have you watched the fight of Ajaba and Ali Ere Demirazin? Bro, go watch that. I said go watch that fight, bro. When you watch the that fight, re- come back. Listen, the only reason I said that is was... Only, it's only because due to F.A. Jaguar's fight with Frank Sanchez, when he kept his head in the damn, in a straight line, right? It, 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 that didn't make sense to me. And I, and I hope Coach K. Karoma, as since they already fought, who, who's, who was uh, 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 Jared Anderson's trainer when he fought Martin Bacoli? K. Karoma? I, I, I'm not too sure, but I feel like that might have been him. And hopefully they learn some things watching Jared Anderson fight Martin Bacoli and they can implement that new str- strategic plan into him fighting Bacoli. Because it wouldn't make sense if, if they feel like, you know, they're going to do the same thing over and over again. I don't want to see that whole Frank Sanchez issue happen. The FA used to be, used to, used to be at least decent, but now it, it's more like he's standing in the middle and and he's throwing he's throwing telegraphic punches and I don't like that. Let's hope they they do something about that. But that's where that's where I think it, this whole fight uh, where I stand where I stand on it. Thanks, but I appreciate it. And I think you're kind of right. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, well, I just was accepted the bout. Uh, I think uh, a pause bid might be called, and we'll see where the, the fight lands. You know. Um, Circular she can actually put on the card on the Dubois um Dubois Parker and uh, and Dimitri Bivo after the BF card. That would be great, but hopefully it does so. Stay tuned guys for Mr. Barry, God bless you. Cheers. <laughs>